Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about some of the new pretty big changes happening to Path of Exile uh, regarding mines. Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm a very big fan of mines. Originally, actually, I played traps way back when until they introduced like minefield support and a couple of other supports, uh, more specifically for mines, which made them feel much better. Well, this patch here introduces, which is basically for our new league blight, um, this introduces some huge, not only quality of life things that happen to mines, uh, on top of changing the ascendancy class, which is the sab, which we don't really know yet, um, <clears throat> but also reworking the mine mechanics in general and replacing and updating existing mine skills. So let's go ahead and start from the beginning. The Blight expansion will come alongside major changes to the mine system, as well as three new mines. Now, one more thing to add in to explain if people don't know what mines are. Remember that in Path of Exile, you have a variety of ways that you can damage enemies. So, for example, let's use a spell. You can use a spell like Freezing Pulse. You shoot it, it's a cold spell, it does damage. If you don't want to use it self-cast or hand-casting, you can put it on a totem, which makes your totem cast the spell. You can also go ahead and, for example, put it on a trap, which you would throw a trap, the trap would go off and create it, or you can put it on a mine, and then traps and mines have specific skills made for them as well, but anyway, let's go on. Mines are now thrown, letting you deploy them at long range. So the first thing is, a, a big reason why a lot of people didn't like mines is you would have to basically click your mine skill and put, um, do not move when I click this skill, and that way you always place them at your feet, but it's a very weird mechanic where something on the on the other side of the screen is attacking you and you like try to place the mine down to detonate to go off. So this is something that's definitely good, allowing you to actually aim where you want the mine to be. Uh, mines take less of your time to place now, so quality of life, now taking 0.25 seconds for each throw. Mine detonation is now always instant. Previously, whenever you would detonate mines, your character would kind of stutter for a second, which is really annoying when literally the only thing you do is spam detonate. Um, now they're making it so you don't have to get the passive node on the tree, uh, which was like, where is it, on shadow, like north of shadow basically, so that's very good, huge quality of life. Mine detonation in sequence, or mines detonate in sequence. Each mine starts a detonation timer on one or more mines in the area around it, with the detonation timer getting faster each time. This also means you can continue to throw mines while a detonation sequence is occurring. You couldn't really do that before. It was the only way I think you could like detonate in place at the same time. Actually, you could if you had instant. I think you could, but it was really annoying on the fingers. Uh, or you could use a spell totem, which would do it, which is kind of annoying. Again, an extra hotkey to add. Uh, going on though, uh, this means you can continue to throw mines in a detonation sequence occurring. Uh, and they'll be detonated by the sequence. This works particularly well for mines which have additional effects for each detonation and sequence. Mine skills have uh, each have unique stacking auras that affect enemies. The more mines you deploy, the more auras affecting enemies around them. These mines are considered aura skills, allowing many aura stats uh, from passives and items to apply to them. Mines reserve mana while they're active, but have a much lower mana cost. Mines can be detonated much earlier when deployed, including detonation in the air. So this right here is probably the biggest thing for me. and. Uh, I wanted to go back a little bit and kind of go off tangent. I stopped playing Traps and Mines for a while and then kind of went back. And the reason why I stopped playing them, because people asked me, you know, Mr. Box Kappa, why don't you play Traps anymore? And I said, well, it feels really bad knowing that in Path of Exile, when you die, you usually die to an instigate. As an experienced player, you're gonna die to just usually getting one shot. It's, it's a very slim chance you're gonna get like chain popped. And usually when you die like that, it's because say you open a door and there's a bunch of constructs and they all shoot at you or um, you know, just in general, something that happens really quick. In the time it takes for you to take a trap, throw the trap, wait for the trap to land, then wait for it to get triggered, or vice versa with mines, the monsters are already attacking you. And when you play any other build, like for example, Righteous Fire or Death's Oath, it's constantly damaging enemies. Even if you play a melee character, you're just like, oh, that's a bad, that's dangerous, attack it. Well, there was always like this little delay before, which is what made it feel bad, and I'm guessing that's what people say makes it feel clunky. Hopefully, this paired with this, paired with this, paired with this, will make it feel much less clunky and make it feel more of like an actual play style than like some weird kind of gimmick. The base mine limit is now 15 up from 5, that's cool, I like presetting things on bosses, essences, uh, strong boxes, that's one of the huge advantages to the slower play, is basically being able to kind of like surround your area and make it safe. 
Uh, you can get up to 23 mines at once by combining passives and the minefield support. The base mine duration is now 5 seconds, except for smoke mine, which has an 8 second duration. So here are some of the new mines. Storm Blast Mine, Icicle Mine. The Storm Blast Mine is a new skill available at 1. Good to see skills from level 1. Uh, when placed it as a stacking ore that increases the damage nearby enemies take by 3%. This is a multiplier. That means it provides 45% increased damage taken when you've got a full set of mines placed. Even more if you have additional mines from passives and, act and items. When you detonate Storm Blast Mines, they release a Lightning Nova around them with a high chance to shock and increased shock effect. Shock effect is also a multiplier, and I really like the, the sequence. Oh wait, this one doesn't have sequence. Just kidding, that's the next one. Spoiler. Uh, Icicle Mine is a new skill available at level 12. When placed, it has a stacking aura that increases critical chance for hits against enemies around it by 10%. When you detonate Icicle Mine, it releases a Nova of projectiles, uh, firing five projectiles from the first mine, then an additional projectile for each two mines in the detonation sequence. Icicle Mine replaces existing copies of Freeze Mine. Uh, Pyroclast Mine. Pyroclast Mine is a 28 mine skill and plays it as a stacking ore that adds fire damage to hits against enemies near it, which grows as the gem levels. When detonated, the mine releases a Fire Nova and a salvo of Mortar projectiles that fly up before raining down on enemies around the mine. As with Icicle Mine, for each two detonations in the sequence, adds an, ad an additional Mortar is fired. Uh, Pyroclast replaces Fire Nova Mine. And then this is also something I'm super excited for. Summon Skitterbots. Skitterbots is a reservation skill that summons two fast-moving invulnerable. Keyword, invulnerable, because that means they will not be targeted by effects, so you cannot die to overlapping projectiles or things like that. You know, a shot ricochets off them and hits you. Uh, it is a level 8 gem, so low level, that turns supported spell... Oh, sorry, just kidding. Uh, <clears throat> one has a shock aura, and the other one has a chilling aura. So that's pretty cool to have. Nothing, I think, you know, building around, but something pretty cool. While they're active, they'll grant you more trap and mine damage. They'll also each, uh, they'll each also look for active traps and mines near enemies. On mines, they'll activate and rearm the mine, which won't set off a detonation sequence. On traps, they'll trigger a number of traps at once. Um, what I wonder about this is, it says near enemies, so my only concern about this is with Skitterbots, if you go to like a strong box or if you go to like an essence, I hope it doesn't tag an essence as an enemy even though it's frozen because that'll be really annoying. So as long as they fix like the little clunky things there, I think this is really good for bossing because that way you can stay at a safe distance, throw your mind, maybe not safe, I don't know how far range it is, but you throw your mines and you can focus more on moving than spamming detonate button because your skitterbots will be doing it. For clearing packs, you're probably still gonna wanna press detonate manually if it's, depending on the scenario, if it's like flying in midair, but for like casual clearing, skitterbots will do all of that. Blast chain mine and support high impact mine support. Existing remote mine have been changed into the blast mine or blast chain mine, a level HM that turns supported spells, bow attacks, uh, wand attacks into mines. It grants less damage as a result of much shorter mine throw time and 5% more damage for each mine detonated in sequence. So this adds sequence to each skill, which is pretty cool. We've also added a new support at level 31, the high impact mine support that turns supported spells, bows, attacks, or wands into mines. The supported skill deals less damage but has an aura that grants hits against nearby enemies, a chance to deal double damage. Interesting. These two supports let you choose to specialize in creating a long cascade or creating powerful auras when turning a skill into a mine. Swift Assembly Support. A Swift Assembly is a new support for level 4. Um, it grants a chance on throwing a trap or mine to throw an additional trap or mine, a smaller chance to throw two additional, and a very small chance to throw three additional. This is particularly useful for mines, letting you get higher stacks of auras um, and longer detonation sequences without greatly extending your throw time. Charge Mine Support. Similar to the Charge Trap Support, the new Charge Mine Support allows you to generate power and frenzy charges when detonating supported mines near enemies with additional mine throwing speed per frenzy charge and critical chance per power charge. Changes to existing gems and items. This is also a big one. Minefield support now places four mines rapidly, but with a slower total throw time. It allows four additional mines to be placed and is now a level 38 gem. Smoke mine doesn't start a sequence when detonated, grants more movement speed than before, and modifiers to mine duration will apply to the speeds 
buff duration. Pretty cool. We've made changes to the curtain call and tremor rod. I don't even know what curtain call is. I'll have to look this up after. The plus one mine placed shaper helmet will no longer appear on items. So I'm actually really happy about this because this was like huge power creep. And as much as I like power creep, I would rather the skills kind of like introduce their own power creep rather than feeling like I'm gating myself behind it. So I don't know. I kind of like this. It makes it easier to get into the play style rather than kind of like bottlenecking it behind a plus one helm enchant. Uh, existing modifiers will still remain. This is because placing additional mines is now more powerful, which is crazy because it was already literally like double damage uh, as a result of various mine changes and minefield changes. We're going to be showing all the passive changes, Saboteur Ascendancy, and more new poison changes in the coming days. I'll make another video going over this once this comes out. But to go ahead and go over this, which is pretty much what we just watched, or just went over. It's hard to see the, the aura from the scare bots unless that's them when they're going. I think that was the chill line maybe? No, I think that was just the blue pack. Just that right there, seeing how fast he throws them. Do you see that? Right there, look at that. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that looks, dude. I just can't stop. I just can't. And think about it, you could detonate those in mid-air if you wanted to. Definitely a little concerned about the, sclear, the screen clutter on the Mortar mine, though. That's looking pretty, uh, <clears throat> pretty cassy shape. But it looks really cool. Other than that, let me know what you guys think about the changes to mines. I'm super excited for it. I really like mechanical changes in Path of Exile. Um, it really kind of adds a nice, fresh, I guess, pace to the game, so I'm super stoked for that. Like I said, I'll make another video going over um, this once this comes out. You know me, I'm super excited for the passive tree changes and the ascendancy change, so that's really cool. But anyway, I'm out. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. Take care.